If you've run through your arsenal of non-Turkey call locators, the next trick in the book calls for a switch to the turkey's own language. Many hunters prefer to start with a soft yelp. If this doesn't work, then it's time to give him your best and loudest call to try and provoke a gobble. Another locating method preferred by many veteran hunters is to pick a spot, stop, and issue your best, sharpest, loudest turkey call right up front. The theory behind this is, since most gobblers spend the vast majority of their time during the spring with hens, they naturally are listening to soft yelps and clucks and feeding sounds from fly-down time to fly-up time. This leads many to believe that whether they come to your calls or not, a turkey call, no matter how good or bad, is far less likely to spook a gobbler than any kind of non-turkey locator call. Keep in mind that when you're covering ground to try to locate a gobbler, you never walk and call at the same time. Pick your spots to call and take the time to find a place to set up. This serves two purposes. First, you can take some time to scan the area and listen for other hunters who may be nearby. Second, if you get a response nearby, you may need to sit down and set up quickly. Always stop. Look and listen for a while before calling. In situations where the turkeys have been hunted hard, when it's late in the season or both, Unless you're hunting a very exclusive patch of woods, you can be sure the gobblers have been saluted with owl and crow calls of every shape, size, and description all season long. These sounds, coupled with the fact that a hunter crashing straight into the woods toward the gobbler often follows them, are making him smarter by the day. This is the time when a loud, sharp cut or yelp will come closer to getting a response than just another non-turkey locator call in the distance. Many hunters find a particular piece of calling equipment, such as a loud box or tube call, that they can use to reliably produce loud cuts. These sharp, loud cuts seem to generate more responses than any other call. If your cuts raise a gobble, you've accomplished your locating goal. If the cuts get him headed your way, so much the better. If they don't, you can plan your next move. Either way, once you've made him sound off, you're in the game. We said earlier that the calling in of a receptive gobbler is sometimes overemphasized. The actual calling can be achieved by anyone who has practiced with just a one-sided box call. Most often, the sounds produced by today's commercial calls will fool a gobbler that's ready to play the game. The one area a truly experienced caller has a definite advantage is in locating. Loud, sharp cutting sounds seem to provoke a gobble when nothing else seems to work. These loud cuts can be reproduced by any number of calls. A box, a slate call, a diaphragm, or a tube call can generate sufficient volume if you practice ahead of time. Find a call you can use for these loud, sharp cuts and master it. You'll be amazed at the number of turkeys that respond to this locator call when nothing else works.